Welcome, welcome back my YouTube family out of Jamaica here. Miss Ruby Foster, Miss Bay Production, Miss Ernestine, AG, hello no. When you know, I cool over there, it's cold sometimes for you, but out here, it's coming like I'm in a hove right now. <laughs> Hot? Yeah, man, it's coming like me in a hove. So, this topic is about bad mouthing children. You ever are like your children or your grandchildren? Even in our days when we was growing up, yeah, people look at you and say, Go on, you're not come for nothing. You're not come to nothing. You're good for nothing. Pick me, you know? Yeah, man. So these are children month, children's month, so yeah man we talk about them. So yeah man, people bad mouth your children mm -hmm. and tell them so they now come to nothing and all kind of things. And sometimes you know, remember my brother you know you so say go on you're fool fool like our you now come to nothing, you fool, you know? Yeah, and then tell me so to I mean I mean Think me full for three you now, yes, yeah, so me hack silly. So as Miss mm -hmm. Bev would say, when you tell children things, remember you're small and somebody says something to you, so you just put it in your head and think, say, yes, I true, you know, I true what the person saying. I mean, the one braille really here, while we do new video, she making nice and she know better than that, you know. Yes, yeah, so, all right, I'm going to give you an example now of my grandchildren, all right. All my daughter, five of them, so all five grow with Bev Brown. Because my daughter always among me. So, you have one. I don't know if you, my viewers and subscribers, I don't know if you call them um, troubled children are, or you would have called them, but then give trouble. From them born and reach one year old, two year old coming up, just trouble, problem child, right? I don't know if you call them problem child, but my grandson was a problem child growing up problem child it's a problem problem from one problem to the other problem so most people in this community didn't like him because you know when you have a son or daughter her grandchild we give trouble people go say making one he in facing and no manners and them weird and then go put bad mouth on them so when you going to primary school and when it to them time and I would it was G SAT, right? It was a G SAT? Yes, G SAT. So when G SAT was coming up now, you have our friend where Franny Mulsumal, one baby stage one year old coming up, he did love him and always encourage him, say, behave yourself. Me when he always encourage him, say I was a problem child growing up. And me sorry, me never listen to my mother and other people and try to get me good education and no waste time at school. So I want you to buckle up, put your head to your lesson and do well and stop following children, schooling school, not going to school. And your mother work hard and send you to school. You know, I always give him good word of encouragement and tell him, say, if he not be of himself. And if he not stay in school, if he find out saying still schooling school and disrespectful to the teachers, them, he's not gonna deal with him and he mustn't deal with him again. And it happened that my grandson went to school and something happened down there and he disrespect the teachers and th this guy hear about it and come to him and say, see you. Don't deal with me again. Me done with you because me warn you and me beg you and me encourage you and me even show you my situation. Say, man, like such and such and you're still not here. You still go down there, go disrespect the teacher. Them don't deal with me. And I, from that day until now, my grandson be, is a big man now. He's twenty something, and that young man in his thirties going up. And you know, say no deal with me, grandson again. From that, no. Then tell him my grandson I went about say eleven, eleven plus, or doing exam. You know, deal with him again. And when he heard that he was gonna sit the exam, he came to us and he was saying, him in a pass on no way. All he go pass, he go I seal him. All age school. In going past some primary to sell him all age because he's called school, he no stop a lesson, he no have no time for him book, he no busy just up and down and he no here. So me no expect him to pass, he gone nowhere. The teacher them down there said he have the potential but he's not gonna pass to go to a good school because 
in school school when if you go to school in the all boat uh, river banana walk all boat with some other bad boys that my problem child as me say and they were looking for him to pass to go in you know so everybody was looking down on him and saying he not pass go no way even me me not take myself over out of it even me say to him say you imagine how oh, hard your mommy work and sending you to school and you're sculling school you're at the river you in the banana while you're doing bad things and not staying in class to to sit and study and stay at lesson your mother saying you to lesson you're not staying in in class none at all so you know what happened see them like how they say you're gonna pass to go sell them um, all at school that's where you're gonna pass to go me tell him so too even his, his mother said to him so at the rate as well you're going what them say are true so he will have a bad mouth him yeah because he was this terrible problem child and to our great surprise when all was said and done and he sit the exam and when result came I was at work, the mother, it was his mom day off, and she said she was here at home, and she hear the loud noise coming up the road. He couldn't even wait till he reached her, mommy, mommy, mommy. And she was wondering, say, what happened to him now? Because she knows, say, my problem child, and we fight or anything. So she wonder, say, how am I making the ball up? They call out for me, son, you know? So then she come out and say, what happened? What happened? Why are you going on like that? He said, he, he, my daughter said, start dance, dance, dance. And say, mommy, 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 guess we school the boy pass you go. Guess we school the boy pass you go. So my daughter said, she said, what you mean guess we school the pass you go? Right up at CLM. And he said, this your thing, me pass you go, mommy. Guess we school, mommy, me pass you go. So she was saying, CLM, all I don't me expect you to pass you go because... You know the girl listen. You know stay a class. So he said, well, mommy, your boy passed. He go, rush his eye. My daughter said, nearly drop. She said, what you say? He said, mommy, my passed. He go, rush his eye. My mother said, Mike, you pass. He go, rush his eye. She was so excited and everything. And she called me and tell me, said, what? So everybody was so surprised. The teacher, them down the school, couldn't believe it. Because other children who um, stay at lessons and do them work and so them no pass to go rushes, them pass to go different school and you know somewhere they never think could have end up a, a, a um sell them all age when they're because when they not do well then go back to um sell them all age that they can do the grade nine achievement test exam. So that's where everyone was looking at my grandson would go and happy to say he passed to go rush his. So all the teacher was saying when my daughter went down there say, Imagine, imagine if your son went second down in a school and come to the um what you call it now, he miss up. If he went second down and uh, uh, when he go, uh, you know, do his school work and in the evening of his stay at lessons, right? So stay at lesson. You don't maybe pass you go Cornwall College. Mm -hmm. Cause after Cornwall College you have Rushies, then you have Herbert Morrison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the boy pass you go mm -hmm. Rushies. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. So everybody was shocked, even the guy that mm -hmm. tell him that at this mm -hmm. go pass you go and all who and say that we we feel mm -hmm. bad. The boy make you know, so sometimes mm -hmm. we bad mouth with children or we grandchildren. Or other people bad mouth them and look down on them and said because he trouble what they give because I'm telling you man that's my grandson but he was a problem child when you say problem you know man problem back a problem trouble he went trouble trouble picnic yeah but in pass he go good school and everybody went things say in now go pass he go no good school but in you know because he was bright all teacher always. When he was going to basic school, and when we were not living in here, we was living in another area before me come back home. And the school that he was going, and when my daughter go to PTA meeting, all the teacher said to her is, Miss, I'm telling you, your son is bright, but he give a lot of trouble. Yeah, teacher said that. He said, your son is bright, but your son give a lot of trouble. Anytime I am on the board writing, when I finish off the board, he finishing his book. You see how excellent he was? 
when teacher start writing start and when teacher finish him finish that's how he was because he was a bright boy but trouble trouble problem so teacher said whenever i finish doing his work he will go under the table and under the desk and go and interfere with other children them now who are doing their work so he was a problem child right so teacher always have to be calling to him calling to him put him to sit down by the time she put him to sit down she don't know when he get up and go and, go and throw other children again so eventually he took sick he took sick and didn't get to go to school for a week so my daughter went to the school and said to the teacher my son is sick and that's why he didn't get to come to school and so here yeah, what the teacher said to my daughter the teacher turned to my daughter and said mommy i am going to say something sorry that i have to say it but is it truth i'm just gonna say it it might hurt you but i have to say it the teacher said to my daughter i'm sorry that i'm not gonna call his name he's sick but i am so happy that he's not here at school because for this week i have peace <laughs> <laughs> my daughter says she feel bad but at the same time she understand what the teacher was saying you understand so the teacher tell her the truth she say it might hurt her but she's just gonna give it to her she glad say not at school for that week uh, for that week she not happy day sit down don't get up do this don't do that don't talk with this one why you hit that boy yes it was a problem child <laughs> so we have to just know how to work with them because many times when he give trouble my daughter come and get hungry and beating him after and me always say you know he call me Dan he no say grandma and he no call me Miss Brown he said Dan 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 help me help me help me mommy kill me help me so me have to run like ma you know if you go rescue him from him mother because when he give so much trouble sometimes get hard beaten you know so I have to always run if go rescue him he was really a problem child <laughs> but in great out now with my big bad so we have a lot of problem children we call it me don't know if i write name you tell me in the comment if it's the right name to say problem child or you know i don't know but uh, that we call him problem child you know so many people have children like that those who give trouble and sometimes they make you feel so depressed upset you love them you know but because the trouble i didn't give they make you treat them and we like you don't love them but you love them mm. and you sit and reason with them kind of time you take him and reason with them and say when well, you be of yourself man and so and so but from him liquor just same so stay yeah and there's nothing we could do about it just problem back a problem back a problem remember to like my video share my video and for those who haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for tell me you tell me tell me what you waiting for to subscribe for Bev Brown. please subscribe for Bev Brown. peace out love you guys i am burning burning i am in a oven believe me